Hobbit is having its world premiere here in Wellington, New Zealand. Once you're on set, you, you have a, uh, a big job to do. You know, we were shooting for 18 months. Huge logistics all around New Zealand. So we, but fortunately, we had an incredible crew. Great support behind us. But the, yeah, making, shooting the movie is always the hardest part. I love Bilbo. I love the whole, you know, it's, it's a fantastic world. It's a fantastic story. And I'm very genuinely honored to be doing it. Yeah. This wasn't really part of my world as a kid. So I had to come to it quite freshly as a grown up. And I can totally see why it is so beloved by people, you know, because it is by me now. Well, the whole thing, I mean, it's called an unexpected journey, but I think for all of us it was extremely unexpected. And I think the film for the fans will be unexpected as well. I, I never thought that I would play a dwarf, so I was kind of suspicious and surprised that they asked me. Um, and then I read the scene that they gave me uh, to audition and it contained all of the qualities of, of Thorin that was going to happen throughout the three movies. And it was uh, a big shoes to fill. So I, uh, you know, I just practiced my sword fighting and, and worked hard to fill those big shoes, yeah. You're the smoldering younger man of the dwarves. Smoldering, I don't know. <laughs> I want that one. I want you want that one? Yeah, I want to be the smoldering one. What do you want? Yeah, give him something else. And all the dwarves and all the guys in the cast, you know, we're, we're like a big family and it's so great to see them all again. Well, what's interesting, in, in the film and in the book, of course, the dwarves go on this journey, but we as actors were doing the same thing. I'm actually the odd one out because I have an orc axe buried in my forehead. So look out for poor old Biffa. Peter and Fran and Philip did a great thing in terms of giving us eight weeks to train together, to get to know each other, to become friends, and um, to become this brotherhood of dwarves. Well, yeah, I, Ori is my, is my baby. I love him so much, you know? He, all the other dwarves are big butch guys, axe wielding, with big beards. And um, basically, yeah, I've just uh, got a little cardigan on. I'm running about inside my higgledy-piggledy house, and it was just... I was given this amazing freedom to improvise. Being somewhat older than some of them, I did find it a little difficult to keep up with them sometimes, you know, uh, especially wearing huge costumes. It was a bit hot, it was a bit heavy, and if they said, sorry, we've got to start again tomorrow, I would do it. You're surrounded by these actors all the time, and they're, I mean, they're incredible. They're so talented. They're, uh, they're inspirations, actually, all of them. People will come to see how brilliantly clever uh, Philippa and Fran and Peter have been in, in adapting it into three films. You know, you try really hard um, and you're focused so intently on what you're doing and uh, this is just like the icing on the cake, especially when you see all these incredible fans come out for the film. It's, it's, uh, it's you know, it's heartwarming. I honestly feel like I, every time I land in Wellington Airport, it feels like I'm coming home. And I've felt like that for over 10 years. It feels like every time I come back, it's like no time's passed at all. And even though 10, 12 years have gone by, it feels like it's, you know, it, nothing's changed in some ways. And yet, and yet what he's doing with the films has grown and grown and grown each time. So it's, a, it's always a real, real pleasure and a thrill to come back. What was your favorite part of the film that you were in? Can you give anything <laughs> away? I'm in. Yeah. Uh, the killing. Now tell me, um, what was it like doing Gollum again. Actually, the first day, it was like, I was doing, I was going through, I thought I was being Gollum, but I realized that actually somewhere in the back of my mind, perhaps I was actually doing an impersonation of a impersonation of a impersonation of thousands of people's impersonations of Gollum. It was quite weird, but then acting against Martin, you know, we very quickly we got into it. What can I say? Well, precious, you can say it's nice to be back, isn't it? Yes.